Every third person shooter game out there owes a lot of gratitude to the 1980 arcade game Berserk. Two years after its release it was ported to the Atari 2600. You control this guy and have to guide him through a maze of crazy ass robots. The goal is to make it through the opening to advance to the next maze. You don't have to kill every robot in the room, but they're worth points, and bonus points are awarded for clearing them all. Plus, where would the fun be in allowing any survivors? You can die from contact with the robots, getting struck by a bullet that they fire, or from walking into an electrified wall. And this is one of the best death sequences the Atari 2600 has to offer. That flash effect and the sound of your player being fried is just badass. The fatal walls make a huge difference. You can't be running around like a madman shooting up the place. You have to take a calculative approach. Using the walls as a hiding spot, getting yourself lined up properly, avoiding their attacks, and deciding which robots to go after first adds strategy to the game, making it a lot more three-dimensional than it would have been if it was just aim and shoot. To make things more complicated, after a short period of time, this smiley face named Evil Otto will make his presence felt. Unlike the arcade version, you can kill him, but he'll always come back. And if the robots are wiped off the screen, he's twice as fast. The sneakiness aspect could make this arguably the first stealth game ever, or at least an early variation of one. At the very beginning, the levels are basic, the robots are dumb as shit, and on the very first screen they don't even fire, you can just stand there and let them walk right into the walls. Fucking idiots. But like almost every other game, it gets more difficult as you progress. The robots are faster, their bullets are faster, and they don't seem to be as brain dead and suicidal. They will still walk into the walls though, and baiting them into a wall can be an effective strategy. Another thing too is that you can fire in 8 directions while the robots are restricted from firing diagonally. The 2600 version is missing a few features like the voiceovers, the more intricate level design, and the indestructibleness of Evil Auto, but this is still a great conversion. I highly recommend it. Thank you.